Chapter 2 Biological Classification Part 2 2.3 Kingdom Fungi The fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotropic organisms. They show a great diversity in morphology and habitat. You must have seen fungi on a moist bread and rotten fruits. The common mushrooms you eat and toadstools are also fungi. White spots seen on mustard leaves are due to the parasitic fungus. Some unicellular fungi, example yeast, are used to make bread and beer. Other fungi cause diseases in plants and animals. Wheat rust causing puxenia is an important example. Some are the source of antibiotics, example penicillium. Fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air, water and soil and on animals and plants. They prefer to grow in warm and humid places. Have you ever wondered why we keep food in the refrigerator? Yes, it is to prevent food from going bad due to the bacterial or fungal infections. With the exception of yeast, which are unicellular, fungi are filamentous. Their bodies consist of long, slender, thread-like structures called as hyphae. The network of hyphae is known as mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm. These are called as xenocytic hyphae. Others have septae or cross walls in their hyphae. The cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides. Most fungi are heterotropic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substances and hence are called as saprophytes. Those that depend on living plants and animals are called as parasites. They can also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza. Reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means like fragmentation, fission and budding. Asexual reproduction is by spores called as conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores and sexual reproduction is by oospores, ascospores and basidiospores. The various spores are produced in distinct structures called as fruiting bodies. The sexual cycle involves the following three steps. First, fusion of protoplasms between two motile or non-motile gametes called as plasmogamy. Second, fusion of two nuclei called as karyogamy. And third, meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spores. When a fungus reproduces sexually, two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi, the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells that is 2N. However, in other fungi, ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dikaryotic stage that is N plus N that is two nuclei per cell occurs. Such a condition is called as dikaryon and the phase is called as dikaryophase. Later, the parental nuclei fuse and the cells become diploid. The fungi forming fruiting bodies in which the reduction division occurs leading the formation of haploid spores. The morphology of the mycelium, mode of spore formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of the kingdom into various classes. 2.3.1 Phycomycetes Members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats and on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants. The mycelium is aseptate and xenocytic. Asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores, motile or by aplanospores that is non-motile. These spores are endogeneously produced in sporangium. 
A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. These gametes are similar in morphology that is isogamous or dissimilar that is anisogamous or oogamous. Some common examples of fungus are mucor, rhizopus, the bread mold mentioned earlier, and albugo, the parasitic fungi on mustard. 2.3.2 Ascomycetes Commonly known as sac fungi, the ascomycetes are mostly multicellular, example penicillium, or rarely unicellular, example yeast in case of saccharomyces. They are saprophytic, decomposers, parasitic, or coprophilus that is growing on dung. Mycelium is branched and septate. The asexual spores are conidia, produced exogenously on the special mycelium called as conidiospores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called as ascospores, which are produced endogeneously in sac like asci, that is, singular is ascars. These asci are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called as ascocarps. Some examples are aspergillus, claviceps, and neurospora. Neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work. Many members, like morals and truffles, are edible and are considered as delicacies. 2.3.3 Basidiomycetes Commonly known forms of Basidiomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi or puffballs. They grow in soil, on logs and tree stumps and in living plant bodies as parasites, example rusts and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septate. The asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes. The resultant structure is dikaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to basidium. Karyogamy and meiosis take place in the basidium, producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium, plural is basidia. The basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called as basidiocarps. Some common members are agaricus, that is mushroom, stilago, that is smut, and puxenia, that is rust fungus. 2.3.4 Deuteromycetes Commonly known as imperfect fungi because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known. When the sexual forms of these fungi were discovered, they were moved into the classes they rightly belong to. It is also possible that the asexual and vegetative stage have been given one name and placed under deutromycetes and the sexual stage another and placed under another class. Later, when the linkages were established, the fungi were correctly identified and moved out of deutromycetes. Once perfect sexual stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered, they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. The deuteromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores known as conidia. The mycelium is septate and branched. Some members are saprophytes or parasites, while a large number of them are decomposers of litter and help in mineral cycling. Some examples are alternaria, colicotrichum, and trichoderma. 2.4 Kingdom Plantae Kingdom Plantae includes all eukaryotic, chlorophyll containing organisms, commonly called as plants. A few members are partially heterotropic, such as insectivorous plants or parasites. 
bladderwort and venus flytrap are examples of insectivorous plants and cascata is a parasite the plant cells have a eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplasts and a cell wall mainly made up of cellulose you will study the eukaryotic cell structure in detail in chapter 8 Plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Life cycle of plants has two distinct phases: the diploid saprophytic and the haploid gametophytic that alternate with each other. The lengths of the haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups in plants. This phenomenon is called as alternation of generation. You will study further details of this kingdom in chapter 3. 2.5 Kingdom Animalia. This kingdom is characterized by heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell walls. They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. they digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat their mode of nutrition is holozoic by ingestion of food they follow a definite growth pattern and grow in adults that have a definite shape and size higher forms show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanism most of them are capable of locomotion The sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female followed by embryological development. Salient features of various phyla are described in chapter 4. 2.6 viruses, viroids, prions and lichens. In the five kingdom classification of Whitaker there is no mention of lichens and some acellular organisms like viruses viroids and prions these are briefly introduced here all of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses can have on us even if we do not associate it with a condition viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not considered truly living if we understand living as those organisms that have cell structure the viruses are non-cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell once they infect a cell they take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves killing the host would you call viruses living or non-living Viruses means venom or poisonous fluid. Dmitry Ivanovsky 1892 recognized certain microbes as causal organism of the mosaic disease of tobacco. These were found to be smaller than bacteria because they pass through the bacteria proof filters. M. W. Bichering 1898 demonstrated that the extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and name the new pathogen virus and call the fluid as contagium vivum fluidum that is infectious living fluid wn stanley 1935 showed that viruses could be crystallized and crystals consist largely of proteins they are inert outside the specific host cell Viruses are obligate parasites. In addition to proteins, viruses also contain genetic material that could be either RNA or DNA. No virus contains both RNA and DNA. A virus is a nuclear protein and the genetic material is infectious. In general, viruses that infect plants have single-stranded RNA and the viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna bacterial viruses or bacteriophages 
that is viruses that infect the bacteria are usually double stranded dna viruses the protein called called as capsid made up of small sub units called as capsomers protects the nucleic acid these capsomers are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms viruses cause diseases like mumps smallpox herpes and influenza aids in humans is also caused by a virus in plants the symptoms can be mosaic formation leaf rolling and curling yellowing and vein clearing dwarfing and stunted growth viroids in 1971 to diner discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than viruses and caused potato spindle tuber disease it was found to be a free rna it lacked the protein coat that is found in viruses hence the name viroid the rna of the viroid was of low molecular weight next is prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological diseases were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of an abnormally folded protein the agent was similar in size to viruses these agents were called as prions the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongiform encephalopathy that is bse commonly called as mad cow disease in cattle and its analogous variant that is cr jacob disease that is cjd in humans lichens lichens are the symbiotic association that is mutually useful associations between algae and fungi the algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is called as mycobiont which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partner so close is their association that if one saw a lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organisms within them lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas summary biological classification of plants and animals was first proposed by aristotle on the basis of simple morphological characters linnaeus later classified all living organisms into two kingdoms that is plantae and animalia whitaker proposed an elaborate five kingdom classification that is monera protista fungi plantae and animalia the main criteria of the five kingdom classification were cell structure body organization mode of nutrition and reproduction and phylogenetic relationships in the five kingdom classification bacteria are included in kingdom monera bacteria are cosmopolitan in distribution these organisms show the most extensive metabolic diversity bacteria may be autotrophic or heterotrophic in their mode of nutrition kingdom protista includes all single celled eukaryotes such as chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans protists have defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles they produce both asexually and sexually members of kingdom fungi show a great diversity in structures and habitat most fungi are saprophytic in their mode of nutrition they show asexual and sexual reproduction phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes are the four classes under this kingdom the plantae includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms are included in this group
The life cycle of plants exhibit alternation of generations that is gametophytic and sporophytic generations. The heterotrophic eukaryotic multicellular organisms lacking a cell wall are included in the kingdom Animalia. The mode of nutrition of these organisms is holozoic. They reproduce mostly by the sexual mode. Some acellular organisms like viruses and viroids as well as the lichens are not included in the fire kingdom system of classification.